I've been revisiting my old journals because of the once in my lifetime astrological event that started in 2008 when Pluto set up shop in Capricorn. Now that era is about to end here very soon. And since Pluto dismantles things that no longer work, sometimes quite brutally, I wanted to see what I wrote about my experiences back in 2008 and then the years after that. I stumbled across something that I hadn't thought about before. I found a pattern with my dreams, and this might help you if you've experienced the same thing. Based on what I wrote in my journals and what I'm still experiencing to this day, I dream about animals and nature before major manifestations appear. And when I say before, I have these dreams about two to three days before something miraculous happens. In 2011, I had vivid dreams about blue water, most beautiful blue water. And this one, I think I've actually talked a little bit about before because it's significant to meeting someone. In 2011, I started dating someone who was really nice and ultimately he wasn't the one, but he was the one who gave me a taste of how men were supposed to treat women. I hadn't experienced that before. So the blue water I saw in my dream was refreshing like he was. Now, when you're consciously creating the right way and you're aligned with source, you'll get glimpses of what you want. That's what that relationship was. And you know, that relationship is a perfect example of how this works. At that time, I was really wanting a stable, healthy relationship, but I wasn't ready. I still had some residual feelings and unresolved emotions from my previous relationship, and I had to put those to rest before I could successfully manifest my big show. A few days before I met my husband, I had those dreams about blue water, and he was the big show. I'm sure his ego will love that comment when he watches this video. So, a pattern of dreaming about blue water before good people come into my life. Okay, that's a pattern. Now, moving on to the next pattern. Animals visit me in my dreams before miraculous things happen, such as like unexpected money and opportunities. This file this guy. In my dreams, I have very pleasant, friendly experiences with animals, even the ones that I would typically be scared to death of in real life. A wolf is an example of that. I always feel safe and really happy in those dreams. And my interactions with those animals are close. You know, they're, they're, they're close to me. And about two weeks ago, I dreamed about two yellow birds and they had beautiful colorings like markings on their wings and I was very close to them, admiring their beauty. And they were cool, calm, and collected. You know, they didn't, they didn't fly away. Birds would typically fly away. The next morning, I woke up and immediately thought, I wonder what that was all about. A few days later, an unexpected opportunity fell in my lap, out of the sky, three days ago. I dreamed about walruses, several walruses. The next day, unexpected money rolled in. Now, I do not believe that all of our dreams have meaning. There's, there's no way all of my dreams have meaning, especially the ones I've had about dating Blake Shelton. I mean, they're so stupid. And I was on tour with Bruno Mars for years, okay? I, I think those dreams are from scrolling through social media at night, but I know that some of my dreams have meaning and carry messages. I also believe that our dreams are indicative of our emotional states and what's buried in our subconscious minds. When I wasn't in a good place emotionally, I had violent dreams and often woke up, you know, panicked. The dreams were so disturbing that they would bother me for ugh, days and weeks afterwards, just icky feeling, you know, freaked out. Those dreams stopped completely after I carried out some 
pretty tough inner work that helped me to release trauma and some heavy emotions. So I'm passing this information along to you because I don't want you to overlook any signs you may be receiving. We're, we're always getting signs and, and messages, and I do believe that those can and do come through our dreams. For those of you who have had similar experiences with certain things showing up in your dreams before your manifestations appear, start cultivating those experiences. View them as you would synchronicity. And synchronicity is tangible evidence from the universe. So embrace it, journal about it. And if you're willing to share any similar experiences, I would love to hear about all of those because I learn from you all too.